Hello everyone, welcome to Kotsundar.com. If you are new to my channel, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification. And you can also follow me on a Facebook, links on the description. And this video is sponsored by MyTeamBox.com. In case this video, I am going to explain how to display an alert box for your Ionic application. So let me go to the documentation. So here you can see an alert, Ion alert. So Ionic alert, it's usually uh, help you to display some information like a pop-up, something like this. And even you can collect the input from the pop-up. Okay. So to create that, first I'm going to create a button. Show alert. Okay. So then I am going to the home.page.ta. So here I need to create an async function. Show alert. And uh, I'm going to create a await. Okay, so before that I need to create an object. So private alert CTR. So it's a user defined object, okay? So alert controller. So here you can notice, so alert controller is automatically imported from Ionic Angular. So this dot alert control dot create. Okay, it's going to be a white. So after a success callback, so we are just displaying the response present. So here you can pass header, enter promo or something like this. So you can add some subheader from a code and even you can add some message over here. Okay, so we can also uh, get the input from the users. Okay, so let me get some inputs like a text file. Okay, so it's going to be an array of objects. So type of the input is going to be a text. Okay, and you can pass some name here, uh, input like uh, promo code. And uh, that's it. So you can uh, pass placeholder also. Promo code. You can pass multiple inputs. Okay, so as of now I just uh, stick with one input. Okay, so then I'm going to use some buttons. So button is an array of object. So text apply. And we are going to use some handler because when the user click the apply button, so we have to display the value of promo on the console. Okay, so handler. Okay, then I'm going to create another button. So it's just going to be a cancel. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going. I'm not. I'm not going to do anything with it because uh, it's simply a ha cancel button. Okay. So inside the handler, so we can get some response because we have, we have inputs, right? So this data can be a response. Okay. So I'm just putting console dot log. So it's going to be a response. So response it will be an object. Okay. So to retrieve this particular. Uh, data so we have to use response in the promo okay so let's see how it is working so just save the file and uh, i'm going to call this show alert whenever the button is clicked so click show alert okay let's see the output Okay, so here you can see when I click the show alert, you can see. So this is the header, subheader, and we also have the message and we have some inputs. So input it contain a placeholder. I can use a, a discount can. So when the user click cancel, nothing will happen because we didn't add any handler function. So alert. So when the user click apply, you can see I have a I got the text over the input and display inside the console. Okay, same thing goes for an Android. Okay, Just click apply. Nothing will happen because we didn't open any console over here. So same thing for an iOS. 
So, okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, you can get the source code links on the description. And if you want to learn more about Ionic, visit codesunder.com slash Ionic tutorial. Uh, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get an instant notification. And finally, this video is sponsored by mythemebox.com uh, where you can get the Ionic themes and starters. And uh, if you want any training, uh, like a one-to-one -one training, we, are, we still offer that. You just to visit uh, codesunder.com slash training. Thank you guys. See you on next video.